Hey guys, what is up? It's Laughing Death here, and today I'm doing another video in my How to Rank Up series for Rainbow Six Siege. Basically, I give you guys tips and analysis based off my ranked gameplay to help you guys improve in ranked as well. If you haven't seen the first few videos in the series, I highly recommend you check them out. They give great tips as well, and it'll help you guys get better in ranked. So, let's get right into the video. It's the last few seconds of the preparation phase, and I know that in the past, this defensive team has been doing lots of runouts and spawn kills, so I'm getting prepared for that. I'm thinking about the most common ones for where I spawn, and I know that it's very likely that someone will be prone peeking the doorway from the far right side when I look at it. It turns out they are, so I'm pre-firing that spot anyways, right at where their head will be, as I know they'll be prone. When you're roaming, you don't always have to be flanking and running around the whole time. One of my favorite things to do when roaming is set up where the enemy team would normally enter and not be afraid of anyone being there. When you enter and you're at a far away point, you're not always droning or checking for the most likely spot that someone will be. You just think it's clear and you randomly go in. So here, I'm playing Ella and I'm watching Garage as we're playing Arsenal Room, and I get to pick up two easy kills as I know where they're going to come in. In this clip, as Ella on Skyscraper, I'm watching the window right on objective. I'm backed up against the wall, and I'm trying to figure out how to get a good angle on them. Once my Grismont goes off, I know they're going to be concussed, and I have an easy kill. I throw my extra Grismont to the same spot in case they'll enter in the same area, and they end up doing it, so I get the notification and get a spray right at them. This is one thing I really need to work on. I was panic spraying, and I need to just be able to pick head level, stay at it, and aim. I got too worried, and it caused me to almost die. If you ever have problems taking down shields, here's a very easy tip that's going to help you out immensely. One thing that really helps when you're playing just in general is communication. My lesion gets backed into the corner by the blitz and he gives me the call that they're there, so I rush in to try and help them. After I get this kill, I'm still focused on roaming and covering all other angles. So when I go around, I'm keeping my gun up and trying to aim down sights as much as possible. I get to pick up an easy kill. It's later that round and I'm just trying to get through the prep phase as fast as I can because I'm prepared to be spawn peeking. As I said slightly earlier, there's this one very common spot where you prone and go on the very left side of the doorway, left when you're inside. You want to hold as tight of an angle between the left doorframe and the right of that open gate to get at head level and pre-fire for when they're about to come out. It gives really easy headshots and there's almost nothing the offensive team can do to stop it. Here's another really good tip for spawn peeking. What you want to do is set up two windows or doorways with open spots so you can rotate if you're taking on fire and so that the offensive team struggles to figure out which one you're actually peeking in and hopefully leaves themselves vulnerable by picking the wrong window to look at. As you'll see here, once they round that corner, they're more prone to look at the one that's on the right, so I get to pick up an easy kill. If you're having trouble on the new map tower, I recommend you go Jackal. His footprint tracking abilities helps get rid of the roamers, which are very common for defensive teams when you're playing on tower. It's also very helpful to have a shotgun to blow open any of the soft walls or hatches if they forget or can't find them to reinforce. Once you're above and try and shoot them through the objective hatch, it's really easy to get distracted or picked off. You need to be smart and aim for heads. As you see there, I almost died because I was unintelligent about peeking. Here's a tip I think everyone will really benefit from. Most people are afraid to shoot if they're not 100% certain of where they are. They feel like shooting makes too much noise and will give away their position. However, if you have a live ping, a drone, or a callout, it's always worth trying to shoot through the wall or just pre-fire where you think they could be because you could pick up the easy kill and it's better to shoot and miss than not shoot and get killed. Alright, in this clip I'm playing as Mira and I have a double Mira setup looking from kitchen into the objective hallway. What I'm trying to do is shoot through the smoke in case they come in through the doorway as it's a very small spot and it's likely my shots will hit. However, I'm pretty dumb in peeking it because I'm not sure if they have a glass and if they do, it's a horrible choice because I'll get picked off super easily. However, I managed to recover and then pick up the second kill really easily with a drag scope. Here as Mira, I'm stuck in the last 10 seconds or so, and I know they have to push. I have a mirror set up on the soft wall, and I could hear them coming. I try and pop up and shoot them through the soft wall above the mirror, and I end up missing. I know they have ran in, and it's most likely they want to get cover behind this little left wall, so I throw the nitro cell, and I manage to get the kill. It's important when you throw a nitro cell that you're smart about the angle. I made sure to check that they couldn't see me and pick me off when I threw it before I threw it. Alright, here I'm playing Mira and I'm holding down Geisha Room, and I see them outside of the Geisha Room window. I identify them as Buck, and I know that they probably have grenades, 
so I'm trying to be smart about pre-firing and making sure that he can't hit me. He manages to throw his first one in and deal about 20 damage with it, and I'm trying to drag scope him down each time. What you're about to hear when I replay this is him pulling out the grenade to start cooking it, so I immediately get ready for him to throw it and start pre-firing right at head level. Here as mute, I'm going to do the same spawn kill I did slightly earlier where I go prone and look at the gate between the left wall and the gate to try and get an easy headshot spawn kill. The reason spawn killing is so common and easy to do is because you're pretty safe and you get a hold of a really tight angle and it gives your team an advantage right from the get go at the very first seconds of the round. While spawn killing is easy and pretty fun to do if you get it, it's also very dangerous and sometimes not the right choice. You need to weigh the options and see if it's an actually smart choice to make. There are a few reasons I pick Rook for anchoring. One, he has an ACOG, which is very uncommon for defenders, and especially for non-DLC defenders, so I highly recommend you either pick up Rook or Doc because of their ACOG abilities, and I like Rook more because he gives out armor, which is always helpful in gunfights, and he can get a shield up, which is an amazing way to get angles that are really hard to counter, and it's basically like a reinforcement wall you can put wherever you want. In this clip, the point that I'm trying to get across is how important the lighting and noticing what is going on with the lighting is. You can see shadows most of the time, as the game is fairly realistic. As you'll see, an ash is going to come over, and I can see the shadow on the right side of the wall. That's how I'm able to pick up the first kill. Later in that round, at the last 20 seconds or so, I'm holding cross angles with Bandit as the last two teammates alive. I'm holding an angle on this door, and he's to my right, proned, trying to hold an angle on the doorway that I'm peeking right now. I should have just hit, let him have this doorway, as he later dies to the doorway I was supposed to be watching. And then, once they rush in, I'm having to panic spray, as I don't know exactly where they came, and it's what caused us to lose the round. Here I'm droning it out, and as you see at the very beginning of that clip, I see a rotation hole made by an impact nade. I'm guessing it was Ella, as she's one of the only operators on the defensive team that has an impact nade, so I'm thinking she's in church. That's what's going through my mind as I'm droning and getting ready to push. We're trying to push in the last minute instead of the last few seconds, because it puts a lot of pressure on the last few defenders, so once I start pushing, I think back to that hole, and I'm guessing that Ella's going to be peeking me there. That's how I'm able to pick up the headshot. Here I'm playing as Twitch and I'm trying to figure out the best way to attack. As most of my team is attacking through the stairs, I'm trying to go through the wall that my thermite opened up. I'm being very careful as I peek and trying to use drones to my advantage. There's one set up and I figure out that Doc is right behind that soft wall. I know that when I peek, there are multiple angles that could be peeked on me, so I'm trying to make and minimize the different views that are on me. I know that there's a soft wall here that's been meleeed, so I shoot through it and end up picking up the kill. One real quick tip that might help you guys a lot is that at the end of the drone phase, you can always go in with the side menu and pick where you want to spawn in. My team was going down to go through the hatch and drop down into the tunnel, so I went with my team to help support them, and it ends up giving me a really easy kill as I'm droning and see that the Ella is about to make a run out down into this tunnel. I'm aiming at the very right side of the wall right when I see she runs out, and I just pre-fire and get the headshot kill easily. Not too long after that, I'm trying to scan for footprints using the Jackal ability. It's not working out too well for me, so I'm trying to get the dock right after I see him and corner him behind the bomb. My Montaigne decides to push in and does a great job taking away the fire from us. What the plan is after this is to throw in all of our smokes and plant, but we end up just sweeping in too fast and kill the team before we can even get the plant off, which of course is not an issue. Basically what I'm trying to do is just hold as small of an angle as possible and corner that dock right behind the this is the best tip I can give to counter spawn peaks. I set up my drone near where it's going to be, and then I know that previously in the round they've been doing runouts and spawn peaks in this exact window. That's why right after I round the corner you'll see me aiming at it, and I'm trying to stay at head level and pre-fire for right when I see them jump out. It doesn't work so I try and just adjust my aim and line up the headshot as easily as I can. The reason I keep mentioning headshots in this video is because headshots are crucial for getting easy and fast kills. Alright, that's the end of this video. If you guys haven't seen the other ones, I'll have links in the description and there was a card at the beginning of the video if you guys didn't see it already. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.